We want a situation, most of all, that is effective. To quote Marcus. That's the first reason that they've lost today's debate. Because throughout today's debate they've been telling us that efficacy doesn't equate to legitimacy. The fact of the matter is that we have to achieve our military aims, and we're going to achieve our military aims regardless of whether we use drones or another mechanism. The fact of the matter is that any mechanism which allows us to achieve those aims while minimizing costs to our own citizens and costs to a foreign country is a legitimate solution. Legitimacy derives from that minimized harm. The second reason why they've lost today's debate is because even assuming but not conceding that all of their harms stood, that still wouldn't prove their case. Let's just go quickly through them. Firstly, they said that there's going to be more war. They never showed why that's a bad thing. Secondly, they said that pilots will be traumatized. They never showed why that's specific to this kind of action. Thirdly, they told us that, that, that this creates a power imbalance. They never showed how this, why this isn't inevitable under any scenario. Four, they told us that power is abused. They never showed why that's an intrinsic problem to drones rather than a problem with those regulatory structures. And the third reason why they've lost today's debate is because they failed to understand that you can't just send in a SEAL team and pray for the best. The fact of the matter is that no war is won with one strike. And what that means is that you don't just send in a team of 10, you have to invade, you have to get boots on the ground, you have to set up the support infrastructure needed for that supposed alternative. I'm going to be speaking about the two clashes of today's debate. One, efficacy, two, legitimacy. So let's firstly start with the effects on war. So I'll be concluding here that drones do lead to better wars being fought. The strategic importance of this is not just the utilitarian one, it lends itself to legitimacy as well, like I've told you. So firstly, in terms of the amount of war. So opposition told us that we get more war. We had two levels of response. One, we told you that more war isn't negative. War should be fought when there's a legitimate reason to do so. More than that, we told you that this type of war isn't negative if there's an increase because there's no specific harms attached to it. Secondly, we told you that checks and balances do exist. You don't take away the ability to go to war, you trust that mechanisms like populations and the international community holding those governments accountable will do their job effectively. Secondly, we told you about the nature of war. We told you that drones allow these countries to achieve their aims. Why? Three unresponded levels. One, it increases accessibility. You can get to the areas that you need to target. Two, it increases precision. Three, it increases access to information. When these drones have the massive amount of information that Marcus told us they do in the first 10 seconds of his speech, they can then act more effectively. All opposition told you is that, oh, SEAL teams can do the same. That's not good enough, because even if that's true, that doesn't delegitimize our solution, and because it's simply not possible to do that on a large scale. More than that, we told you that it minimizes casualties and harms, both to our own civilians and to that country in the short and long term. We told you that there's less direct engagement, there are less harms to that country, both in terms of lives and infrastructure. More than that, we told you that it's far easier to pull out if you don't want entrenched warfare that is going to that is going to harm those foreign countries side with team proposition. Lastly, we gave you the arguments of legitimacy. So here we told you that even if it is a more harmful mechanism, that's still legitimate. We enshrine the rights of this country to protect themselves. Emma told you about how the mandate of government is primarily to its own people. No response from side opposition. So even if the majority of our case about efficacy didn't stand, we still win today's debate because it simply is a legitimate action for them to undertake. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a bloodless army is the way that we get bloodless battles. That's why I'm proud to propose.